Hey guys, it's Trevor Laird here and welcome back to Excudo Talk episode number 14. Now this week we have an exclusive looking at the swap. So we're going to start out with that. We'll move on to our contest winner after and then end the episode with the market news. So let's not delay anymore and let's get started. So whether you saw it on Excudo's blog or just in the Discord chat, they have announced a big surprise, a new feature that we didn't even know they were working on, and it's called the swap. So basically, you guys may have heard of DeFi before. It's a growing term in the cryptocurrency space, and that's decentralized finance, of course, but there is DeFi tokens being traded as well. Basically, swapping is like trading tokens, one token for another, but with a difference from the exchange. The pricing model is based on the liquidity and the amount of tokens that are staked within that exchange swap system. So it's totally different than an exchange, but it creates massive, massive opportunities, and Excudo is gonna dive right in on this big buzz. Now, like we just said, with DeFi swap, the name of the game is really liquidity. Now, besides swapping tokens and trading back and forth like that, there is another big opportunity, becoming a liquidity provider itself. And that means that you can actually stake your tokens and earn commissions when other traders use them for liquidity within the pool. It's a win-win situation. The traders get liquidity and you, the user, can simply sit back, stake your coins and watch or trade yourself as well. Now, thanks to the team over at Excudo, we do have a sneak peek at what this will look like. So let's take a look at the main page right now for the swap. Now, looking at the main page, everything looks nice and simple. We have the app, my pools, and my transactions. To the left, we have the swap itself and some more information. And to the right, we have the simple trading platform where a user could trade between two different assets or supply liquidity. Below that, we have three main reasons why you should trade on the swap. One is swap in one click, swap on multiple markets, and find the next Bitcoin. So they're giving some good advantages here. Now below that, we have a simple FAQ. Now as we slide over to the My Pools section, we can see both liquidity suppliers and swappers, which are the traders, have pages that show their transaction history and other useful information. This will help them to make decisions a lot quicker. Now, overall, you can see that this is very, very, very clean. It's amazingly clean, which makes it very friendly to new users. And of course, there is also a night mode. So there are some major points here that make Excudo Swapper very unique and attractive to users that are maybe even used to using swappers on other exchanges. The big keys here are that this is not limited to ERC-20 tokens, which many, many DeFi swappers are. You can trade any assets with each other. There's gonna be tons of different pools and pairs, and this is gonna open up a whole new market. Think about the arbitrage, especially when this is combined with multi-broker. The other thing is the Excudo fees. The fees are going to be so much less on Excudo that we are going to pull so much liquidity from people that are paying very high fees on other swapping tools. Now, this is pretty exciting stuff, guys, and this is a good sense of what's going on with the Excudo team right now. Not only is multi-broker at the final stages of its testing, but we are also seeing brand new products that are being put out even without uh, telling us about them first. So that is a very, very nice surprise. And next week, guys, we're gonna be going into the second half of this and looking at more sneak peeks of the swap. Okay guys, it is contest time. So in three, two, one, boom. If this is your address above me, then you are the winner of $25 this week worth of EON and I will be sending that to you on channels later. So congratulations. Now a quick look over at the Excudo ecosystem health check. All systems are operational for the week. You will notice on the first day that there were some large updates happening. This was planned maintenance and it did go well. Now, some of you might be asking if this was related to multi-broker. And I know for a brief time after this maintenance that multi-broker did appear to be functioning on the test version. I know the developers are giving it a bit more final testing uh, and now that test site is down. So there may be a few updates coming on that by next weekend. Now onto the Excudo Exchange 
market news, everything's looking good. Volume around $350,000 USD across all pairs. Now, of course, everyone knows that BTC obviously took a bit of a beating this week, and that is where a lot of that volume is centered across not only our exchange, but multiple others as well. Now, looking quickly over at EON, we see the price around 450,000 EON per BTC. Now, the overall trend line for the last two months is the price is increasing. So we're still sitting around 3.5 cents USD for the price of EON, but really I would not sell it any less than five cents or more. I mean, you guys know my opinion on this. Now onto global markets, everything is looking fairly green, but if you were around three or four days ago, it would have been a wall of red. Now, when we truly look at what's going on, we saw there, there was a very, very large sale happening on BTC a couple of days ago. Now that dip, we were kind of expecting that the previous week when the robbery happened of the other exchange. We thought, okay, if there's $150 million missing, a lot of people will fear sell. That didn't happen at all. Um, so we did have this correction down as far as $10,300 USD on the price of Bitcoin. And of course, that spread out and affected everything else around it. Now, at the end of this week and at the time of recording this video, the price seems to have consolidated around $10,000. 500. Now, when I was looking last week, I was really seeing the price trend, at least by the uh, moving averages, going over 11,000 and holding there. So the question now is, are we going to crawl our way back up there this time a little bit slower? Or are we going to see another BART maneuver where the price uh, spikes up, rallies, and then comes down just like it has twice in August and in September? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode this week. And I really want to thank the Scudo team for getting me all that great info on the swap. It looks like it's going to be a very clean uh, interface to use for new users and also a great way to make money by staking your tokens. If you haven't yet, guys, please like and subscribe to these videos. It really does help. Share them across the internet and put your EON address in the description below. The last reminder I want to give you is that the AMA is coming up at the end of this month. So make sure to send me your questions either via Discord or in the comments section as well. Well, guys, that is about it. So have a great day. And for Scudo Talk, I'm Trevor Laird.